Hi, my name is Udi Kumar and welcome back to Udi History. So paper is widely considered to be one of the most historically significant inventions of all time. It's something to write on that's easy and pretty cheap to produce and thus it's had a huge impact on our society. Everything from sheets of music to employment contracts to the script of this very video was printed on paper and without it, our world might be very different today. Of course, there were many precursors to paper because writing emerged long before paper itself did. In Egypt, people wrote on papyrus, a form of parchment that's similar to paper but not paper itself. And in Mesopotamia, people wrote in cuneiform on clay tablets. And in China, people wrote on bamboo and bones. And in some instances, they wrote on silk. But the problem in China was that carving characters into bamboo or bones was very difficult. And writing on silk was very expensive. So when a Han Dynasty court official named Tai Lun developed a cheap and easy way to manufacture paper by hand, it was a welcome alternative to the previous material that Chinese people had been writing on. Now China independently developed its process of paper making, but no other civilization did. So when paper started appearing in China's neighboring states, that's because paper spread there. The diffusion of paper took place across the Silk Road trade network almost immediately after paper production began in China. But the presence of paper in these places was only evidence of the use of paper, not the production of paper. Paper making remained a closely guarded secret of the Chinese emperors for a long time. But it finally started to leak out of China near the end of the Sui Dynasty and the beginning of the Tang Dynasty, possibly due to some of the political instability at the time. Around the beginning of the 7th century, paper making spread east to Korea and Japan and southwest to India and Tibet. In fact, by the time the famed Chinese explorer Xuanzang reached India, paper making was already in limited use there. And by the 12th century CE, it would become in widespread use. But the most significant instance of the diffusion of paper making was when it spread to the Islamic world. At the time, the set of caliphs running things over there were of the Abbasid Caliphate, and the set of emperors running China were of the Tang Dynasty. For quite some time, the Abbasids had been spreading east and the Tang had been expanding west. Both empires were at their greatest size yet, and they collided at the Battle of the Talus River in 751 CE. This battle had huge consequences for world history because the Abbasids defeated the Tang. The Abbasids took Chinese paper makers as prisoners of war and brought them over to Samarkand, which today is the capital of Kyrgyzstan. There, the paper makers taught the Abbasids how to produce paper, at which point paper making spread all throughout the Abbasid Caliphate up to the Arabian Peninsula. There's abundant evidence that a papermaking industry was firmly established in Baghdad by 794 CE. Like China, the Abbasids also wanted to keep the process of papermaking a secret, but also like China, they weren't able to do it for very long. About a century or two later, papermaking spread to Egypt, and a few centuries after that, it spread throughout the rest of North Africa. Finally, at around the end of the 12th century CE, papermaking had spread to Europe via Islamic Spain. Papermaking quickly became widely practiced throughout Europe, but it didn't really take off until Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press in 1453. After that, newspapers became a staple of European culture and papermaking was vital to its survival. It became even more important in the American colonies where newspapers played a huge role in colonial life. In Pennsylvania, a papermaking industry was firmly established by 1690. And that is the story of how papermaking went from being a secret Chinese technique to becoming one of the most widely practiced and important industries in the world. If this technique had never been developed, it is very likely that our world would be a very different one today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Now go out there and make history.